was a phenomenon sweeping the mobile nation called Puzzle and Dragons. This is all over Japan, of course. And I did review the mobile version of this game and had a lot of fun. Now they've teamed up with Nintendo for a dual game, so two games in one. It's Puzzle and Dragon Z plus Puzzle and Dragons Super Mario Brothers a Edition. A lot of puzzles, a lot of dragons. A lot of puzzles, a lot of dragons. Now with a lot of Mario, a lot of Koopas. There's yep. a lot of characters that we know and love in this version. This is kind of like hell has frozen over and Nintendo has had to partner with a company that's made tons of money yeah. to see if there's a fit for the 3DS type audience. And I think that enough love and craft and and desire to build something kind of really fun and special mm -hmm. in this cartridge was applied. So I think it's actually a successful exercise, but you cannot escape the impression and the feeling like there, because this is another match three experience. And there's so many of them, they're so proliferate and there's so many free ones yeah. that it's hard to go, oh my God, of course this is worth all of the money to get it on your 3DS. Sure. Even if the game is actually kind of super fun and great. Yes, it is a match of three, sure, but yeah. I feel like there is a lot more strategy here with sure. it. There's actually a lot of depth and the games, you know, at their core are identical. I mean, you're really just doing match three RPG stuff in either one, mm -hmm. but the Super Mario version is really tailored to just get from level to level kind of thing, whereas yeah. there's more exploring in the other side. Sure, exactly. So you're getting two different games here, which I think is great because you're getting this all for $35. These are games that are perfect for waiting rooms. They're games that are perfect for flights. I'm excited that this is here on my DS because mm -hmm. I feel like it's a reason for me to pick up my DS and take it with me wherever I go. Yeah. The truth about freemium games and free-to-play games is that they won't be free for too long because yeah. if you are playing something incessantly, I just heard a buddy of mine say that he had dropped uh, $250 in uh, Candy Crush. Gross. So, And then but, you immediately unfriended him. No, but things happen, right? Like you get addicted to these things, yeah. you end up spending the money. So if you get it all in the cartridge for 35 bucks, it sounds like a lot compared to that, you know, try for free kind yes, of thing out but when there. But when Mario's involved, you feel like, okay, I'll fork over the dough because it's Mario. And there's been enough sort of attention to detail and it's charming and fun yes. and collecting a, a team where you've got Koopas and Goombas. And I know, it's true. And they have all of those elements there. And so what you want to do when you collect all these things, you can actually go into the little mushroom shop yes. and then you marry some of the characters together to level up your other characters. Yep. It's just very RPG heavy, this yeah, game. Yeah, because even though it's match three, yeah. there's actually a tremendous amount of extra depth and, and lots of yeah and lots of things to go back into and feel like okay I'm getting my money's worth here. You you really are honestly. Yeah. I I love this game. I really do. I've been playing a lot of it. I will continue to play. This is just one of those games that gets your hooks in, gets them in early and you feel like it's not I don't know, it's not trying to be shady in any way cuz it's not freemium. It's yeah. just it's there for you. The weird experiment. It does feel like hell has frozen over, but a successful one. What are you going to give Puzzle and Dragon Z and Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Brothers mm -hmm. edition? It gets an 8. It gets a 7.5 from me.